Hi, friends. Um, it's me. Of course. Because you're on my channel. Anyway, um, I come to you with a cup of tea. Earl Grey. Hot. And... A knife. <clears throat> and... Do, 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 do. The latest ink flight box from Ink Journal. So... Open this. I'm a little bit late because I've been AFK and it's a big box, so I was assuming some kind of paper product. Let's pull this stuff out of here. And here we are. So we have a notebook with a lighthouse on it. National Parks from Oasis Notebooks. I wish I had gotten something from California. This is apparently Boston Harbor Islands. This paper looks interesting. It's like lined but dotted. Seems like it's, it reminds me of, uh, I wanted to call it Seychelles. Those are islands. Seychelles, the French ruling. Anyway, and then, ooh, ooh, look at this sticker. Ink fly. I like this sticker. And inks, which we're not looking at yet, friendos. Not looking at yet. Um, let's read. Hitoya Profolio Oasis A5 National Parks Notebook. Even if your summer vacation is more of a staycation, we hope you'll enjoy the wanderlust named artwork of the National Park's notebook collection, including this much box. Enjoy printed maps and information about each park found on the inside covers of each notebook. You receive one of six different covers that illustrate various scenic U.S. national parks. When you open the 160-page A5 size notebook, you'll notice it lays flat with ease. I didn't notice that. Feel free to use all your fountain pens and inks on Japanese-made Oasis paper inside this notebook. The 84.3 GSM paper stock can handle the wettest nibs and boldest inks with ease. The exclusive Oasis paper layout combines elements of line, grid, and dotted formats. The unique page design is a versatile canvas for all your creative music and design projects and adventure logging. This munching flight sticker reflects the sparkly brilliance of shimmering fountain pen ink. Okay. Did I notice it laying flat? No, because I was just trying to open the front. It does not lay flat with ease, friends. It lays flat with some coercion. But it will lay flat. It's a sewn binding. You can see the stitches. I love it. Okay. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Tape. Removed. Like a boss. When was the last time you watched that video? Maybe later today. Put that tape there. It's on my desk. And here we are. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, what? Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm excited. Y'all, dominant industry. Excited. Oh, your God. Sorry. Maria, chill down. Wait, chill down? Is that a thing? Chill out? Why don't we say chill down? I say cool down. Hmm. Hmm. It's too early for these thoughts. Okay. As usual, I have... Um, this is a Tamoya River paper notebook from someplace. I knew at one point. I no longer do. Here. Um, here is from last time. We're going to swatch on here. We swatch on a lot of Tamora River paper. Hello. If we're falling down. Because I also swatch in this Hobonichi. Weeks. This is the last thing I did in it. It was the last ink flight. So we're going to go forward to seven. Because it's seven. We're going to... I'm going to do this week. The week of the tenth. Because... You know, it's the 15th as I film this. No, it's not. It's the 16th as I film this. Oh, y'all, I just lost a day. That was sad. Um, I have my little Inca pet. 
have various on diverse tools. <clears throat> and I have a scratchy throat because I either am getting over a cold or I had allergies. Um, I'm guessing cold because my nephew, who was super snotty, no longer is. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is all relevant, I'm sure. And we have call o ring cards. We shall extract the Michael and seven of these cards. Okay, now, welcoming travelers. Based in South Korea, Dominant Industry expresses the emotional colors of nature with fountain pen ink. The company makes inks that are faithful to the basics of function and performance. Their ink formulas are nearly pH neutral and made with eco-friendly materials. I'm going to quibble slightly with that. I think function sometimes follows second to, to form for them. And I'm okay with that. Okay, first up, because you know we have to do these in order because, you know, we're neurotic. Uh, evening. Winter pine. November leaves. Not November rain. Mm -hmm. Earworm, thank you. Gor... Gorio. Celadon. Earl Grey Tea. What? Industry. Oh, Horizon. It's not called Industry. Y'all, the name of the company. Shh, 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 shh. Le Nymphaeus. Le Nuage. Nuage. The Nymphs. Interesting. This has an accent aigu. Over the E, the paper does not. Who knows? My phone does, but it's filming us right now. Shh, it's watching. Okay. It's been a while since I hung around with adults, everyone. So, in case I need to apologize in advance, here we are. Here, <laughs> here we are. I apologize also for the coughing. I'm not editing it out because this is my real life and I'm coughing right now. And I don't like to edit, but I will try and limit it. Okay, zoomy, boop. The first card. Boop, 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 boop. With evening. Is this a sparkle ink? No. But I feel like evening is probably the basis for sunset and twilight sparkle or whatever that other one was. How do we do this? Does anyone remember? Thanks for letting me know. That's a pretty good dot right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just got home. I've been away visiting family. Um, it was not a vacation because I was working the whole time. And also, I baked approximately a million things. And also, I was doing yard work. And vacuuming, I cleaned the kitchen so many times, and at one point I was cleaning up cat pee. So, I don't have a cat, just for the record. And I think if you're cleaning up someone else's cat's pee, it's decidedly not a vacation. I hope you agree with me. You know, it's kind of dim. Should we try and get a light in here? 
Where's my light? Oh, it's all the way over there. We're not getting it. I'm sorry if it's dim. There's light. There's light. But sometimes nature does not abide. Even if the dude does. What does it say about this? This pale violet, check, shading ink evokes a sky of majestic clouds lit by the setting sun. For them. Oh, look where I touched it. It's resisting and you can see the pink undertones. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. My tea is radiating warmth which I'm not going to enjoy when apparently it's going to hit 96 degrees here later today. Stop it. Stop it. There's some kind of berry looking things on this tree outside this window. Anyway, evening. Lovely. <clears throat> We're going to have to compare this to the other inks that I mentioned. Oh, 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 almost forgot, but didn't forget. Maria winning at life. Winning at life. Good job, girl. Good job. Okay? It would have been better before we cleaned things off. But better Nate than lever. If you understand why what I just said is so funny, let me know. If you don't, maybe I'll share a link later. And by so funny, that statement might be exaggerated. <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop! I need a thing. Okay. Let's work out some kind of thing for that. Okay. Also, let's move this. Let's move the knife. Everything is like a mess. Because I just got home and it totally wasn't messy before I left somehow. It was totally messy. It's me. I'm the problem. I bought some cough drops at the store. Because you know. You know. There you go, evening. And next up. Winter pine. Not a shimmer. You know, you gotta check though, right? Um... I was where, there were many pines where I was, but it was not winter. I was, um, I was going to say near Denver, but that's not actually true. I mean, it was, I was nearer to Denver than I usually am. But I was in uh, Evergreen, which is considerably higher. So Evergreen is at 7,200 feet, 7,500 feet, something like that. It's incredibly difficult to bake at high altitudes um, unless you have recipes specifically made for it. You have to alter all your recipes. Also, it's so dry up there. Um, great for like letting your clothes hang to dry, but bad for the skin. Especially like, um, like the, like your lips inside your nose, like that really delicate skid. And you have to drink a lot of water. You have to drink water like it's your job, which I did. So if anybody needs to hire someone for drinking water, apparently I'm good at it. This is a light freaking color. A little more on there. Did you just call me a moron? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, I'm out of control. I am out of control! <laughs> Stop rolling! I'm obviously doing better than I had been. Uh, I am also medicated now, so that, who knows? Probably just usual cyclical stuff. 
and the miracle of modern medicine. <clears throat> so winter pine, they say, pale sage green has good shading with purple gray undertones. Yeah, I think I see that. I don't see purple, but I do see gray. And moving on to our next one, which is not the GNFNR song, but is November Leaves. This is already, I can tell from its brownness, it's going to be my total favorite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. There, okay? There. You think about what you've done. Mmm, that scratchy sound, isn't it lovely? Mm, mm hmm. Mm mm. So I spent most of my time over the past three weeks with, honestly, with the three year old. And we are uh, best friends. And he loves me very much, which is good. I love him very much. I miss him. And. I have reaffirmed the sagacity, you can't see my eyebrows waggling, but you know they are, of my decision not to have children of my own. <laughs> because I love them. And I miss them, but I can only miss them if I leave or they leave. Such is life. I hope that doesn't sound mean to some of you, but it was intense going from living alone and being alone all basically all the time to being in a house with like six other people. It was a lot. I did like having people to bake for. You better believe it. Because the thing about baking for other people is that you're kind of baking for yourself, but you're not, you don't have to eat all of it. I made, let's see, three pound cakes, two apple pies, a key lime pie, two batches of banana chocolate chunk muffins, um, three batches of chocolate mousse, a batch of creme brulee. Some of this isn't baking, obviously. You don't bake mousse. I made three batches of um, Sichuan spiced peanuts and countless bowls of spicy noodles. Oh, this says, this Sandy Brown Ink has a nostalgic antique feel. So I think they're trying to say it looks sepia. Sepia? Which do you say? Next up, look at here's the word. So is it Goriel? Goriel? I'm going to say Goriel Saladon. This kind of looks like it has shimmer in it. It does. Let's shake it. Shake it up. Boop, boop, boop. Um, okay, it shook. I suspect... <clears throat> I read a comment that Amanda said she butchered the names of one of them. It's either this one or the French one. I can't wait to watch and find out. I wonder if this is going to actually be Celadon or if this is going to be like Celadon Cat and I'm going to be like, does anybody in this house ever seen a chicken before? I mean, Celadon before? 
Does anybody, Maria? Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Okay, shaking, you know, keep that silver in suspension. So, um, I don't know how many of you saw my currently inked video that I did where I inked up pens while I was on my trip. None of those are, well, one of those is still inked, but I um, de-inked uninked all of them except one before I traveled again because I was like I don't want to deal with the idea of like trying to keep these from getting ink all over even though that's never um it never gets ink all over I've had a few where um it gets in the cap but the real thing is the difference between the air pressure where I was and the air pressure here makes them act weird. So I don't actually think it's the plane because when I've gone like <clears throat> from the UK to here where we have relatively similar air pressure, um, this didn't happen. Okay. So like, look, I think that's feathering. I don't think I like, no, oh, maybe I did. Anyway, I don't think of this color as celadon. This looks a little too blue, but what do I know? This says delicate pastel green shines with icy, icy silver shimmer. Also, that doesn't look green to me. That is like solidly a blue color to me with green in it, if that makes sense. Like it's a greeny blue and not a bluey green. Okay, next up, Earl Grey tea. Oh, I should have left some of my tea. Well, it's too late. I drank it all. I'm going to have opinions on this because I drink Earl Grey tea literally every day. And if this isn't the color of Earl Grey tea, my Earl Grey tea, you're going to hear about it. I was talking with people about pettiness and how one of my petty examples is there's this company that spelled gray wrong in their Earl Grey tea. And now, and I, so I won't buy tea from them. But I think that's okay. Life is short. I can only drink so much tea. Which, for the record, is not this color. This is orange. My tea is not. But maybe if I didn't. Maybe if you don't steep your tea for very long, it'll be this color. I just think no. I think this is way more orange than I have ever seen this tea be. Like, for real, for real. If you're a tea drinker, have you... Like, for real, for real. Have you ever seen tea this color? <laughs> like, y'all. This is the color of a pumpkin. <laughs> it's not the color of tea. It's, if you like orange, this is a beautiful color. If you like tea, this may disappoint you. Um, I have been listening to almost not very much music on my trip because I usually listen to, um, a, a Twitch stream. I get music and I haven't really been able to. So I've been listening to a lot of Tiesto's latest album and like it's continually running through my head. So if I break out into song, it's probably from that. And also I apologize. Like for, okay, we're going to look at this and you're going to be like, okay, she's right. Your pen is going to want a spot of this warm orange shading ink. I think they're trying to say spot of tea. Yeah. 
Here's Horizon. This looks like I'm going to love it. Ooh, and it looks like it has shimmer in it. Oh, I don't need to want another turquoise ink. I already want all of them. All of them. Struggle was real with that word. Got too heavy a hand. I should practice with this pen on this paper and then I'll be better at writing with it in general. Oh, the water is. Now the water, adding a little bit of blue, the water looks more like tea because it made brown. This is color theory with Maria. <laughs> okay, more shaking. <clears throat> uh -huh. Dip, dip, hurry, hurry. Mm. This is a good color, but fortunately it's light enough that I am not trying to buy it right now. I mean, I'm not trying to buy anything right now. So far, I've managed to hold off from buying the new Reda inks, the um, Celadon Cat and the Sailor's Warning. Is that that? But then I also feel like... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know if I want them. I'm kind of thinking about maybe I get the Celadon one, but I'm not feeling the other one thinking like I probably won't use it very much and I would almost only be buying it to have it because I kind of have I have all of them now but I'm not trying to hear that right now I don't need it got water on the table okay and looking out on the twinkling ocean horizon, this ink presents a light turquoise hue with a cool sparkle. Does it now? Okay. Should we look up how this is pronounced? Oh, I have to take a pill. Le Nymphea. Because I don't think you should pronounce the trailing letter. Le Noage. Inspired by Claude Monet's famous painting, Water Lilies, 1908, this watery blue ink has clouds of lavender and glistening shimmer. Le Nuage, Nuage maybe, is, uh, I think, is that the word for cloud? For possibly? Um, I'm going to have to do two lines for sure. Maybe it's more like, I want to say le, but that would just be L-E. I wish my sister was here. She would tell me and she would shake her head at me. Like, Why are you getting more pens and ink? She doesn't understand. That's all right. Jane Austen quote about like one half of the world doesn't understand the pleasures of the other. Oh yeah, that side of the pen is just basically like so scratchy. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Cleared my throat, didn't I? Well, said it might happen. My paintbrush still in the water. Thank goodness, because I thought I lost it. I have the song The Motto in my head by Tiesta right now, in case you want to sing along. Now it's a little too green to be Earl Grey tea. I should have showed you before. And dip. Actually in the water, thanks. This is heavy on colors that I like, mostly. So I approve. I love Dominant Industries bottles because they're cute, but I find them incredibly impractical because I have like anxiety or angst about, you know, making them fall over accidentally, which is suboptimal or would be suboptimal, I should say. Um, okay. Now, boop, zooming out. We're gonna let these dry. But there's a few that are already dry, and so we can do comparisons with those. I think. Um, I'm really interested in, I think, like I said, I think evening is the same base color as sunset. Um, which... I'm gonna look for these are the inks I own, so it wouldn't be in here. It wouldn't. I do own some dominant industry. Purpley. Where did I put purplers? Where's the purplers? So here's purple jade rabbit. And evening. Purple jade rabbit is shimmer, and this isn't. Mm, purple jade rabbit is pinker. Here's from Cali. Bluer. Dawn. Bluer. Not even close. Foxglove. Bluer. Yeah. Then let's check here. <clears throat> this is gonna you know what this actually reminds me of another one we got I think it might be Zizma they're this is greener and more saturated but they're not that dissimilar Um, also, here it is with Seki. This is browner, but there are, there's some similar colors in there. Here's Ferris Wheel Press Little Rabinia compared to Evening. This is pinker. Little Rabinia is, I should say, is pinker. Get off of there. Don't, don't you dare. Where's my... card for sunset? <sighs> well, it's probably the same. That's all I have to say. Um, let's pause a moment and I'll see if I can find it. Actually, that was really easy. It was right on top. So here's sunset. Here's evening. If they're not the same, they are so similar. So if you liked sunset but don't want a shimmer ink, I would get an evening and call it a day. 
Um, I'll say the shimmers in, in their inks tend to be on the more subtle side. Which is actually kind of nice, you know, like... Because sometimes you can have a shimmer ink that's like... It obscures the base color. Rather than enhances it. And maybe that's not what you want. And then I want to see... What's going on? Okay, Earl Grey Tea compared to Pumpkin Patch. They're not the same color. Compared to Flapjack Octopus Orange. Pretty similar, y'all. This is orange. This is not the color of tea. If this is the color of your tea, you are drinking something else. You're not drinking Earl Grey tea at that point. I don't know what you're drinking, but it's not that. Horizon compared to Karibik. Bluer. Here's another one that's ish. I'll be honest, I love this so much. I'm gonna write with this. Mm. Okay, and then here they are on the cream Tomorrow River paper. Um, the Earl Grey tea is very nice on this because it's warm. I think most of the colors that are warm look pretty good on this paper. I actually think what's fascinating is the Winter Pine looks cooler to me on, I don't know. It's cooler on this paper, but it looks cooler here. Not like awesomer, y'all. More cool. Oh my gosh. Just these. Mm -hmm. And then on the white Tomorrow River paper, it's not done drying, but you get an idea. This hardly shows. It is coming across much more saturated on the camera. Um, this has some really nice shading. This looks like it'll be a really light to write with. Um, look for them in a, a future 30 inks. Or, yeah, because that's what I do with all of these. I chuck them in my box. Unless I write with them sooner than that. So, here was our ink flight this month. This... Notebook with a lighthouse. Some people really love lighthouses. Do you ever notice that? What's the deal with lighthouses? And <laughs> this sticker. <laughs> and this goofball. Um <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm curious if you got this, what did you think of it? And based on what you're seeing, keep in mind that anything that's like tealy is going to look more blue on camera than it is in real life. This looks far more blue than it really is. So um, that's why I try and show you compared to other teals that maybe you've seen before. At any rate, uh, let me know which is your favorite or which you'd be most excited for. Um, I know some people who are probably like, give me this because they love orange. Hi. Um, at any rate. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.